Hey everybody, Ezor here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to beat the Schwarzgeist uh, in Kingdom Hearts 3, which is the optional boss in the world map. Now, this is a really interesting and fun fight, uh, however you do need a little bit of preparation in order to be able to get it to go through. First things first, I would definitely do all the constellation photos, or at least the first six and the first two worlds, just because you do need one of them. I used one of them, um, and really that's all you need is just the one and you'll be okay, you should be able to get this about that time. You can get all nine, uh, you can use whichever one you like, I just found the Endymion um, to be one of the best ones uh, pre-built anyway. I did end up building one a little bit better a little bit later, but if you don't really like doing that, if you don't want to take the time to do it, I just recommend going for that. So just snap the picture real quick and then you'll get the information on it. Now for the teeny ships, I would definitely wait until you have two of them and I would just get whatever one you can get for the most offense, because you're going to need as much offense as absolutely possible in order to be able to get this fight. He takes a while to be able to kill, so. That being said, you do need to have a speed of over 200 in order to be able to fight the boss, so uh, that's another reason why I went with this ship, is that it had a default of that. Once you get that all set up, go to the Misty Stream and Waypoint MST-03. Right in front of that is going to be a giant vortex, and uh, literally all you do is just fly towards it, I think you actually have to end up flying down a little bit. It's kind of in the center of the vortex. Um, I went up and then didn't find it and then went down and finally got it. So when he shows up, you'll get a little cutscene showing that he's here. Uh, and like I said, you do need to have a speed of over 200 hour for him to even appear. So really big thing with this boss, he only has a couple of attacks. Um, they are very annoying and definitely takes a long time just because he's only got one spot where he takes damage from. So uh, that being said, let's we'll get right into the fight. He deploys three shields here, as you can see, and each one of those are just literally just uh, damage absorbers. They just stop everything. They do fire lasers at some point, um, but ultimately they're just there to kind of be more annoying than anything. So uh, the bottom legs, there's three of them. If you take all three of those out, he'll actually stop one of his attacks. He fires missiles from them, and they're homing missiles. They're not too hard to kill or avoid. The biggest thing is just, again, trying to uh, take them out uh, along the way. I wouldn't necessarily aim for them because they're not overly difficult. I didn't mention that before, but I definitely want to bring the Repair as the optional ability, just for the simple sake of this is a long fight, like I said, and you do very little damage overall, so you're going to need that in order to heal. As you see here, one of his attacks is that he spreads out a whole bunch of beams of light. They, you can actually see where they're going to be popping up if you go high enough, so just be aware of that. However, if you go too high, you can't actually hit the boss, so I would definitely uh, look up and see where it's going to be coming down, and then you'll be able to sneak, sneak back. So He does another one where he just fires a whole bunch of bullets, so you just kind of have to be dodging around and moving a lot, and you'll be avoiding it just fine. So uh, ultimately, just keep moving throughout the fight, and you should be avoiding his attacks more often than not. Laser beams are the only exception to that, so... However, the one off put about the laser beams is the fact that that's when you can actually damage him the most, and that's where you just have to, when he's firing the laser beams, get in a spot where he's not going to hit you, and then just unload into him, because it's going to be the only time that you can really get a lot of damage onto him. So, once you uh, see him start doing those laser beams, get in the spot right away, and then just start going to town on him. Now, after you do end up uh, defeating his life bar here, you do actually unlock his second form, because why not? It's a Japanese game, they always have to have a second form. However, the second form is infinitely easier than the first. There's only two attacks that he does. He The biggest problem is just the fact that it moves around so much. It's very, very mobile. So you kind of take a couple of pot shots, you're trying to follow it around. Eventually it will stop. There's two attacks, which is just going to be, it charges you a screen at you, uh, which you can easily avoid by just dodging out of the way. And the other one is that he'll stop and fire a whole bunch of uh, just regular attacks at you. Which again, honestly, if you have the repair thing and it's up and it's active and you're at full life, you can just sit there, eat it all while you're spinning, and then just heal through it afterwards because it really doesn't do all that much damage. And on top of that, that's the only time you can really get a lot of damage in on the boss. So, And that's all there is to it. Really, it's just an endurance fight with the boss and just keep moving and keep taking pot shots whenever possible and you'll eventually down him. So... Let me know in the comments below if you use this ship or another one, if you built your own, how you fared with it. Like, If you found the video helpful, go ahead and give it a like. If you like other video game related content, that's kind of a do, so consider subscribing. I do have other Kingdom Hearts playlists going here, so if you want to check that out at the end of the video and look for some other information if you're looking for something, I do have all the Constellation videos as well, so you can check that out if you're looking for this ship. Thank you all for watching. I've been Ezor, and until next time, keep your story going.